guys, Miss Alicia here, and I'm so excited for spring. I love God's creation. I'm just hanging out here, enjoying the beautiful scenery around me and all that God's created. And you know, God loves all the animals and everything he created, right? And the whole world, but he loves something more than that. And I'm super excited to have you guys join in today to hear about who God's favorite is and how Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. So stay tuned, enjoy God's creation around you, but know you are his special treasure. Happy Easter, and I miss you all and have a fabulous week. Stay tuned. You know, Jesus said that he is the way, the truth, and the life. Wow, there's no doubt that he's pretty important, but what does that even mean? Do you remember that at the very beginning of time, God created the whole world and everything in it? He made the stars, the trees, the ocean. That might be my favorite one because I love the beach, but that's not the point. Okay, so do you know what God's most important creation was? That's right, people. The very first people that he made was Adam and Eve. They got to live in a beautiful garden and they had a perfect relationship with God until they decided to disobey him. You know, disobeying God is a sin and unfortunately that broke their close relationship with him. Do you have a really close friend who you love? You know, the kind of friend that you have so much fun just being with them. Well, imagine how you would feel if that friend did something that really hurt your feelings. You might still love them, but you probably don't trust them as much as you did before. Because they did something wrong, it hurt your relationship with them. The good news is that even though Adam and Eve made a very poor choice, God still loved them. He loves all of his children and he really wanted to fix that relationship and make it right. So God promised to send a savior who would make a way for us to be forgiven of our sins and to live with him forever. Jesus is the way. So many, many years later, Jesus was born. Now this baby Jesus, he came to be the savior that God promised that he would send to us a long time ago. And as Jesus grew up, do you know what he did? He traveled all over the place. Do you know why? to tell people the truth about who God is and how much he loves us. Jesus showed everyone what God was like by being loving and kind. 
just like our Heavenly Father is loving and kind. He performed so many miracles and healed so many people. He did these things because he loves us so much, just like our Heavenly Father loves us so much. The truth is that God answers our prayers and he also hates sin. Jesus is the truth. Well, there were some very powerful people back then. They didn't like all of the things that Jesus was saying. They didn't believe that he was God and they hated the fact that other people believed him. So these people became so angry that they made a plan to get rid of Jesus by killing him. What those bad men didn't realize is that they were a part of God's plan all along, even though they didn't believe him. They arrested Jesus and they made a plan to kill him. Can you imagine? Jesus loved people so much and he did so many good things for them, but those same people wanted to crucify him because they didn't believe that he was the way and the truth. Jesus is God, and he could have stopped all of this from happening at any time. But he knew that he had to die so that he could take the punishment for our sins and our poor choices. You see, he knew that this was all a part of the big God story, and he loved us so much that he would rather be punished so that we don't have to be. Wow, that's pretty amazing. It reminds me of something that happened when I was a little girl. So when I was in kindergarten, I got in big trouble for sneaking cookies when I wasn't supposed to. My mom's rule was that we could have one cookie after we ate our dinner. So my mom baked the cookies during the day and the house just smelled so good. It was really hard for me to wait, so I thought to myself, hmm, mom won't notice if just one cookie is missing, right? So when she wasn't looking, I grabbed that cookie and I ran and hid so that it wouldn't get caught. Can I tell you, that wasn't the best decision. I'd gotten in trouble for this before, but apparently I didn't learn my lesson. When mom found out, she wasn't very happy. She brought my sister and I together and said, who ate this cookie? I was so scared of getting caught and getting in trouble again. My sister knew that it must have been me because it certainly wasn't her. My sister's pretty cool and she really loves me a lot. Well, she didn't want me to get punished again. So you know what she did? She said that she ate the cookie, even though it was me. I couldn't believe it. My mom punished my sister and she couldn't go to her best friend's house for a whole week. I felt so bad. When we were alone, I asked my sister why she didn't tell on me. She said, because I love you and I just didn't want you to be punished again. So I decided I would take the punishment this time. I couldn't believe that she loved me that much. I eventually went and told my mom what I had done and she forgave me, but she had a good talk with my sister and I. She told us that she hates when we disobey and when we lie. That's just like God the Father hates when we sin. My mom loved us enough to forgive us, just like our Heavenly Father. I remember th thinking, that must have been why Jesus took my punishment. He just loves me that much. Wow, you know, after Jesus was crucified on the cross, he didn't stay dead. After three days, he rose from the dead. Can you imagine that? That Jesus is so powerful that even death didn't have power over him. He defeated death so that he could give us life with him forever. So Jesus was right when he said that he is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the way for us to have a good relationship with God. And his death proved the truth about how much God loves us. When he rose from the dead, he gave us life, and we get to spend forever with him. Hello, Grace North kids. Isn't it amazing how much Jesus loves us? Well, my name is Paul, and this is Christy, and we're the campus pastors of the Gilbert campus. Hey, we just wanted to take a few minutes to just really recap the video that you just watched. Um, I know that in the video it talked about how Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And man, we know that to be true in our own lives. But you know, if you haven't made that decision to make Jesus your personal savior, the one who, who helps you throughout every day, we just want to take a minute to help you understand what that looks like. So we have, we kind of call it the ABCs of getting to know Jesus. And step one is to admit that you're a sinner. 
We know that we've all made mistakes. We all do things that are maybe not the right thing to do. And But what we need to do is we just need to admit that we've, we've made a mistake and we're a sinner. The second thing is to believe, to really truly believe in our heart that Jesus is the son of God and he died for our sins, for your sins. Next is to confess that Jesus is Lord and that he rose from the dead and he lives today. And last is to commit to following him. And Jesus is like, as Pastor Paul said, he loves us so much and he wants that relationship with us. And so if that's something that you have not done yet, I really want to encourage you to go talk to a grown up that you trust and that you love and let them know that you want to make that decision. But today we want to pray with you. And if you are making that decision for the first time, you should pray this prayer with us because we know that Jesus loves us so much and he wants that relationship with us. So can we bow our heads and close our eyes and pray together? Lord Jesus, I thank you for your work on the cross. And I admit that I am a sinner and I've fallen short and I've made mistakes. And Jesus, today I want to choose to believe, to believe that you really did come and live on this earth, die on the cross, and you rose from the dead. I confess that you are Lord and I want to surrender my life to you. And lastly, God, I commit to following you, to your ways, and to your truth. In Jesus' name, and everyone said, amen. amen. Well, hey, you know, we have a tradition at Grace North, and that is to leave our kiddos with a blessing. And so we've had a chance to just um, share a few minutes together, but also we want to speak life and blessing over you. So I speak in the name of Jesus that you would walk in his ways, knowing the truth about him and being made alive in Christ. So thank you so much for joining us. We have a few things we want to let you know about. Yeah, we're excited to be able to see you guys on our Good Friday and Easter Sunday services at Gilbert, Anthem, Prescott, and online. Whew. So we will see you then. Yeah, and hey, if you just happen to be watching this video and it's already Easter, happy Easter! Have a great day.